Yes, I do love Tony Orlando. And from Las Vegas, Mr. Tony Orlando with Teddy Smith and Mr. Bob O'Brien. Hi, Tony. How are you? Hey, Bob. Long time no speak. How you doing, buddy? Well, Teddy's doing great. Bob's doing great. Al Russell Brown's doing great. Jim Patrick is doing great. Joe Franklin's doing great. And uh, <laughs> Gary Lewis and the Playboys are doing great. Hello, Bob. Tony Orlando's doing great, I'm sure. Carlo Mastrangelo's doing great from the Belmonts, the honor of the Belmonts. What can else can I say? You know, you've been my fan for so many years. You know, I used to listen to you when you had when Cousin Brucey and Dan Ingram had you on the radio shows years ago in WABC, and it was been a, a pleasure after all these years in the 60s and 70s to play your great music, by the way. Well, thank you very, very much. You're sitting there with one of the greatest songwriters that ever walked the earth. You do know that, right? Well, yeah, he's one of the greatest. I mean, he is the greatest, I'm telling you, L. Russell Brown, and I'm going to say... A couple of things right now. Uh, Tony, for, for example, you're playing tonight in Las Vegas, right? Yes, I just closed. I just just now closed at the South Point, and I'm about to come back now to uh, do my Christmas show, which I do every year in Branson, Missouri, which just goes from November 1st to December 10th. And then on the end of December, I'll be in the, you know, on the East Coast at the uh, Mohegan Sun in their arena, we're doing a Christmas show there, so it's... Uh, well, I'll tell you, it'd be nice to get you to come down here live in this live radio show, a live and live radio right here on WPAT, to have you come into the studio with L. Russell Brown and Jim Patrick, and we could do a little YouTube and film a little session with you right here, going through all your music, through all the genres of music and background that you've been involved with for all these years. It'll be a lot of fun between now Las Vegas and Mohegan Sun. Well, I would love that. I would look forward to that. It would be a very, very nice time to be spending time with some old friends, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, I tell you, you know, you're, uh, like I said, I used to listen to you on AM Transistor Radio many years ago. It was, uh, you know, so much fun to hear Knock Three Times, Delta Dawn, and uh, Candida, and all the other good stuff that you've played over the years. Like, El, uh, this, this is a gentleman right here in the studio that... Uh, that, uh, you know, he's, a, he's kind of a friend of yours, you know? I mean, he's been sort of around your life for a long time. I, I guess you know who I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> Russell Brown and I go back uh, since the uh, days when the Candida knocked three times and Yellow Ribbon days when we first started with Tony Orlando and Dawn. Hey, who could write a better and quite story frankly, that, yeah? And quite frankly, all of our success, really, is dependent upon the writing. It comes down to a great song, the artist, and I was very, very privileged and very honored to have uh, Larry Brown uh, and Erwin Levine and Tony Wine, Tony being the co-writer of, of Candida, but then everything after that was really Al Russell Brown and, you know, but Tony and, Orlando. and Erwin Levine. And the, signature, and the signature song, the signature song, which is Yellow Ribbon, certainly has been something that I never thought I'd ever see happen in my lifetime. But Larry, the Larry, when I go, Larry when I go knows to Iraq to perform for our troops, and I see these young soldiers, and every base in Baghdad has a yellow ribbon at, at its entrance. Well, Larry He's knew pretty that. humble. You know, Tony, Larry knew in, the, in his lifetime he'd see those those uh, yellow ribbons flying all over the studios and all the places he's been, right, Larry? You know, Tony Orlando is, uh, and I'm going to tell him in, in public, I want him to hear this. He's the man whose magical talents brought my music to life. I mean, I have Thank thousands you. of cassettes and songs all over the place that never saw the light of day because they didn't have a brilliant performer like you to bring them to life. And, have, and, and the longer well, we live, the more we realize this. And, and also, <laughs> Tony's going to be in this incredible new movie uh, uh, with Adam Sandler. Tell us about that, Tony, please. Well, yeah, I just finished a film uh, two months up in Cape Cod, Larry, and and to be able to work with Adam and James Kahn and Susan Sarandon and a great, great new talent, Andy Samberg, who, of course, is the star of Saturday Night Live and just recently won the Emmy for the work he did with Lady Gaga and Justin Timberlake. And, and it, it was an amazing experience to work with Adam because you know, I always was a big Adam Sandler fan, but now I'm a fan of the man, too, because, you know, the great thing about Adam Larry is very much like what we had in the days of Hank Medris and you and Irwin and myself and, and Dave Apple. We were a family, and if you look at all the movies that he's made, Adam Sandler, whether it be the makeup department, the hair, the, the grips, the light guys, the camera crew, the directors, the writers, they've been together since film one, including Brooks Arthur, who's a friend of yours, oh, yes. who does all the music for Adams since 1993, and of course, produced Adams' a Grammy-winning award albums in comedy. So, you know, for me, to be working with such a great artist, great actor such as him, he gave me a great part in this, Larry. He gave me a part that is 
uh, uh, not, I'm not usually, in, I make a film, I'm a cameo performer, so I like in Star is Born with Barbara Streisand, I play Tony with uh, Billy Bob Thornton in Waking Up Reno, I play Tony Lane. Right, you brought Tony. this movie, he gave, he gave me the opportunity to play a character in which I play in this, uh, a sandwich boss, and uh, he gave me a chance to use my acting chops and... Uh, I've always enjoyed acting, you know, doing Barnum on Broadway and everything. But he's a great one. And so look forward. It's called Donnie's Boy. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Look and see. Yeah. I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see it too. And by the way, uh, Tony, it would be great. It would be great to have a book come out with your uh, life and all the all the musicians and people like Al Russell Brown that you've met over the years. It's uh, the work together with you. Your, your life story, I think, would be a, a rather unique book. Probably a bestseller. Well, what do you think? There is a book. There is a book. It's called Half of the Paradise. It's been out. It's an autobiography. It's been out for a while. And of course, Larry and Irwin have mentioned it in a big way because they've been a big part of my life. Bless you, Tony Orlando. You're the greatest. But Tony, tell us, uh, tell us when you come to Mohegan Sun. Uh, you know, was I, th I think it's a great place to at least, uh, you know, when when you're not singing, there's a it's a great casino up there. I mean, I've been there several times. I'm sure you have too. It's just just a wonderful place, huh? Well, we work uh, we work uh, Mohegan Sun five times a year, and we're in the arena, and we're doing the Christmas show there this year, December 18th, and uh, it's been a home for us since 1998. So. Mohegan Sun is my, probably my most favorite casino I, I worked. I'm not embarrassed or ashamed to say it. Of all the casinos I've ever worked, to be honest with you, it's the most beautiful, as you know. Mm -hmm. It is the most uh, uh, act-friendly casino in the country, and I'm just proud to be part of that organization. You know what's great about you, Tony, is you've got such great energy. You're so energetic. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just great that you, all these years, you keep, you're just fired up. Well, thank you, man. You know, you get, you know, as long as I remain two years younger than Paul McCartney, I ain't changed him, you know. Hey, well, I'll tell you two something. two years older than me, and he's still working, too, so there you go. You How about know, a guy you like... by this bug. You know, the bike lasts forever. That's right. Uh, a guy uh, like uh, Paul Simon was 70 years old yesterday, as you probably are aware of, too. No, I didn't realize he was 70 yesterday. So, well, okay, so he's... Three years old to me. It doesn't matter. Birthday, Paul, Age doesn't matter. Well, I've seen the Tony Orlando Christmas show, and let me tell you, whoever doesn't see it really misses something in their lifetime. You should really see it. It's a super night. Thank Nothing you. to be missed. You know, did Larry tell you one year he came to Branson and we did a duet together? Right. Of George M. Cohen songs together? No, that's that's that one guy. story he didn't he mention to me yet. yet. <laughs> yes, Yankee Doodle did. You know, Larry's a great artist. He's a very good, very strong singer himself. In fact, when I used to hear the demos of the songs he wrote, I used to say to Hank all the time, why don't you cut them with Larry? Well, thank God he didn't. He's thank God he didn't with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Tony, He's I got a guy that should be singing these songs. <laughs> well, Tony Orlando, I want to thank you for being part of the Teddy Smith with Mr. Bob O'Brien, who's nearby and uh, actually in the Teddy New Smith, Jersey studio. Bob O'Brien, thank you very much for making me part of your show. And thank you for having the world here and meet and greet the writer of those songs, because the truth of the matter is, we're as good as the songs that we sing. You know, and very often the writer never gets the public to meet them. Mm -hmm. And they're the people that really touch the public's heart. I was just merely the mailman that delivered the letter. I'm, I'm going to get the even guys with you, who wrote, <laughs> right. The guys who wrote good the letter. mail, I'll tell you. Really. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Well, Tony, I, I can't wait for you to come into the studio. I know you, you and uh, L. Russell, Brett, Larry, and uh, Jim will set it up for some time uh, between now and Christmas for you to walk right in the studio. And we'll see you with we'll here. Well, I would love that. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful God evening you. down here in Las Vegas. God bless you and your family. I love you, Larry. Let's play we four love you, Tony. Tony. We're going to play four Tony songs in a row. Go ahead. Bye-bye, you guys. Bye-bye. Well, at least I... We were very happy. Hi, Jeff. Well, at least hey, How are you, Jeff? Mm -hmm. All right. This the uh, Jersey Sound? Yes, yes. Hi, Teddy Smith, how do you do? Hi, Teddy Smith. How are you? Bruno. Nice to meet you.